An, an invasive species of worms are wiggling its way into the Midwest. Yeah, Fox News' Catherine Hetzel has more on how jumping worms made it to our area and how they are impacting our landscape. Jumping worms refers to a group of worms, not just one species, that originated in Asia and has been introduced into the United States. Well, they're called jumping worms because when they get startled or harassed by a person or another animal, they thrash around almost like a snake would. Um, they're very sort of violently jumping, trying to scare away a predator. Mm -hmm. Tad Yankowski, senior entomologist with the Butterfly House, says jumping worms were first discovered in the Midwest in 2013. Recently, experts with the University of Illinois Extension say the invasive worms have been found in the Metro East. They're in Illinois, they're in counties right across the border, so they're probably in the St. Louis area as well. Jumping worms are certainly not the first non-native worms to find their way into our ecosystem. All the worms that we have that you commonly find in the soil are invasive or introduced species, usually from Europe or Asia. But Yankowski says the problem with jumping worms is that they churn through soil much more quickly than other worms, which can cause major disruptions. They live in the very topmost layer of soil, some of the most nutrient rich soil, which is really important for trees, seedlings and things like that to sprout and develop and, and sort of get established. And they alter and use that food source up to the point that uh, other animals sort of get displaced or plants get displaced in the process. It may be impossible to eradicate jumping worms, but right now scientists are hoping to slow the spread. Be mindful if you're moving topsoil, if you're moving plants, especially if you're using worms for fishing. That was possibly one of the ways they got introduced to the Midwest in the first place. Jumping worms have a distinct band near their heads and can obviously be very active. Yankowski says if you see one, take a picture to document it and then put it in a bag and set it in the freezer or sun to kill the worm. As they're coming into the area, they're sort of the new pest invader. Reporting Catherine Hessel, Fox 2 News.